Hey, I want to show you how to take this oven apart. Uh, my control board recently went out, or the display went out, and I suspect it was the control board, so I'm going to show you how I got into it to replace it. This is a Gen Air wall oven unit, 30 inch, built in 2014. Already had the display fail on me. So first thing you got to do is you got to take this door off. To do that, you open the door, see these little tabs down here? The tabs down here, you need to get like a screwdriver, pop them up. Like that. Now with those tabs out of the way, you can lift this back up to that angle right there. I'm gonna set the phone down because you really gotta pick it up, but it's ready to come out at that point. All right, now with that door off, got six screws, three on each side. Those need to come out next. Just a Phillips screwdriver does the trick. Okay, those six screws are out. Uh, and next thing is to slide the oven out. Uh, to do that really, you gotta kinda put your hands up, push up there. So I'll, this would be a good point for me to tell you, I already turned the breaker off. Good idea to always cut the power off before you get into anything like this. So that's done. Okay, I just lifted it up and slid it out a couple inches. And when you do that, you expose these two screws on each side. So you need to take those off. And as you're doing the last one or two, you wanna make sure you got a good control on this uh, so it doesn't fall and, and so it's not hanging by the cord that's plugged into it. So these are your four screws that come off next. Okay, with those four screws out, your next step is to pull this out and you want to unclip that black power supply right there. So that'll be the next step. Okay, so now I've taken that display off and I've laid it down on something soft. I've got it on an oven mitt here. And you can see I've got a replacement control board for it that came in the mail. I got that from eBay. I'm going to replace this part here. So to do that, you got to do a couple things. You got to undo these four screws and then you got to push uh, this little connector piece apart. And, and there's a couple ways to do it. Um, I found that a, a any kind of push tool helps push this right out. I want to use each side and see now that pushes right out. Now, now it's free. And so now you just do four screws to take it apart. So I've taken the old board off. Here's the replacement board. So it just sits right over those screws. And I'll put those screws in as well as reconnect that. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I've got the screws in. Now to put this connector in, you gotta really make sure it gets in there all the way. So that's not good enough. You need to really push it in like that. You saw it just move there at the end. That is firmly seated in there. That'll be a good connection. Okay, control board's replaced. Put the panel back up there and you gotta be able to plug that little power connector in as you're putting it up there. So next will be those four screws. Now with those four screws back in, it's time to push your oven back into, um, back into the cutout in order to make sure it's flush with your furniture. So I'm gonna push it in. You wanna be careful with that to make sure you're, you're in flush on both sides. All right, pushed it in. Now we're flush on both sides. And so the next step is the six screws go back in. All right, last part of assembly is to get the door back on. And this is a little tricky. So I wanted you to see how this works. There's a little notch in those inserts and the door hangs on it. But, but in order to put the locking pieces back in, you gotta open your door all the way. And now you can push the locking piece. And there you go. Now you're reassembled, your board's replaced, and you can go turn power back on.